So please, round of applause for Phyllis Sinclair. Yeah. Hello. So good to be here at Polk Alliance in Kansas City again. And uh, I, I was really excited to hear that we're going to be going to Montreal next year. That's wonderful. So anyway, my name is Phyllis Sinclair. I do have a Cree name. My Cree name is Nigomanaka Ganawenataka Squell. And in my Cree language, that means songkeeper woman, a name that I take to heart for sure. I am indigenous and I come from a tribe called the Cree. And I come from a little community way up on the northern shore of Hudson's Bay on the west coast of it. You know, growing up in my indigenous community was wonderful. I felt like everybody was home because really we were. And there were all kinds of wonderful, colorful people in the community that I used to just adore. And one of them was a man named Joe. I was about seven years old, and Joe might have been about 70 years old. But mind you, I was seven, and anybody over 30 looked 70, so it could have been anything, right? Um, so Joe was a wonderful person. But the thing that I noted about Joe is that he would be in town for a week or two, then he'd be gone, then he'd come back again, then he'd be gone, and this repeated itself. And whenever he came back to town, he wouldn't have his own house. He would ask somebody if he could stay at their house. And I found this very curious. But when my grandmother would come to me and say, Phyllis, Joe's going to stay with us for a couple of weeks. Is that okay? I'd be very happy about it. Because he was a wonderful, wonderful person to have around. You know, I never forgot Joe all these years. And a few years ago, I ran into his niece. And uh, I asked her, I said, what was with Joe? Like, was he homeless? And she said, no. Joe wasn't homeless. She said, Joe was a helper. And Joe used to leave town and he'd go down the trap line. And he'd help all the other trappers with their trap lines. And when he got tired, he'd come back to town. And since we all loved him and offered him a place, he knew he didn't have to have his own place. So he'd stay with one of us. He was a great guy. And uh, like I say, I never forgot him. It means a lot to me. Thank you. 
he'd be gone. songs on the album refer to situations in our life where you know what we're just forced to let it be because there's not much we can do about it anyway so be looking out for that <laughs> 